All right, hello everybody. I'm excited to be here for our first recorded asynchronous session on regression discontinuity for our program evaluation class. So um, I'm gonna have this broken up into several sections so that you can jump around to different topics as we go so you don't have to sit in front of a whole three hour long um, video. Not that this is gonna be three hours, no way. Um, we'll make this a lot more compact and condensed for you and then you should be able to learn a lot from this session. So um, let's get started here. Um, if you want, you can follow along with the slides that are on the course website for the day. Um, I would recommend downloading those and um, following along. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the plan for today's lecture is to cover um, all of the background um, related to regression discontinuity, which is one of my favorite forms of causal inference analysis, um, mostly because it's probably the most intuitive. Um, when we talk about instrumental variables next time, you'll see that it's kind of bizarre and hard to wrap your head around. Um, diff and diff that we just covered a couple weeks ago, um, that's a fairly standard way of, of analyzing um, natural experiments, and that's, that's great. Um, it's super popular, but regression discontinuity, I find, is more intuitive um, and more convincing often. Um, and so it's, like I said at the beginning, my, my favorite form of causal inference analysis here. So the plan for these, this lecture here is as follows. We'll start talking about arbitrary cutoffs in policies that exist um, and why that's important for causal inference and how that lets us make causal inference um, in natural experiments that we find in the world. Um, then we'll talk about how to draw lines and measure gaps. Um, so there'll be a brief review of kind of early, early topics in statistics and in algebra back in the days when you were learning how to draw lines with formulas. Um, we'll see how to measure gaps between two lines, because um, that is what we care about most for causal inference. Um, after we do that, we'll talk about some of the main concerns with regression discontinuity and what you need to pay attention to and, and take care of when you're doing an analysis. And then we'll go through a full analysis with R. Um, and I will do this live here on the video, but you can also follow along with the code that's on the website for today. Um, that's the code that we'll be doing all together here. Um, so if you don't want to watch that video, that's fine because it'll be there on the website. So let's get started. <laughs> 